Radio Kent. Now, there's been what experts are calling a significant rise in immigration in the UK. The Office of National Statistics says net migration was 243,000 in the year up to March. That's up from 175,000 in the previous 12 months. Tory ministers have pledged to reduce that figure to under 1,000. The Immigration Minister, James Brokenshire, admits it won't be easy. We've said previously that because of the increases in the uh, level of net EU migration, that it is so certainly challenging. These figures make it uh, further challenging again. But it is right that we do focus on net migration because of the pressures on public services, on integration, on issues of wage levels as well, how our focus does remain on that. Mm. I should have said, of course, it's up to, uh, to, to reduce to 100 thousand which is the tory pledge in our london studio matt pollard the executive producer at migration watch joins me now matt good evening good evening so the numbers are getting worse it's a difficult task what's gone wrong Yes, it's very disappointing, the figures today. I mean, essentially, more people are coming here to work, which, is, which you know, in itself is a good thing, because the UK economy is growing, especially relative to the rest of Europe. We're at Southern Europe, they've got very high unemployment, and in Eastern Europe, they get a much lower standard of living. But it's just the numbers now are not sustainable. We're, we're back running at uh, about a quarter of a million a year, 243,000 was the figure today, and it's been around that for the last 10 years. It dipped a bit, and then it's gone back up. But this isn't sustainable. We know uh, across the southeast in Kent there's starting to be shortage of primary school places there's a housing crisis across much of England and just the population growth from this high rates of immigration are just making that whole situation worse. Well you touched on the issue of the EU there and of course that's that, that really is the issue isn't it because this is the one tenet of uh, government policy where the government can do nothing about. Yeah, I mean, at the moment, uh, it's about 50-50, so there's still substantial amounts of immigration from outside the EU, which um, the government has tried to tackle, but you're absolutely right that there's very little they can currently do on EU migration. We would recommend that they, you know, they do try and have some limits on low-skilled migration. I mean, we still have two million people unemployed in this country. There's still quite high rates of youth unemployment. And it's one thing coming here to take up skilled work from the EU, but we don't really need large amounts of people coming to take low-skilled work. At the moment, they can't do anything about that, but the government has talked in quite vague terms about renegotiating with the other EU countries aspects of EU migration, and that's something they should certainly look at. So are the government wrong, then, to set this arbitrary figure? No, um, I think that the government should get some credit for that. And, I, and the reason why is a lot of politics is, you know, presentation, spin and rhetoric. And I think that frustrates the public a great deal. Whereas uh, by setting a concrete target, at least they had something to aim for. Yeah, fine, they haven't made it, but it, but it means that the next government, whoever they are, will, you know, will also be encouraged to have a target. And it's a clearly, it's a hard thing to achieve, but it's something to aim for. OK. Uh, while you're on with us, Matt, um, mm. we've been closely following the rise in illegal migrants trying to reach Kent from Calais in recent months. Yes. Uh, how concerned are you about this problem? I mean, it's absolutely astonishing that people that have made it all the way to France are still prepared to risk their life to come to the UK. And that doesn't reflect at all well on France. Um, but also I think it shows that, uh, you know, people know that once they're in the UK, uh, there's very little chance of being detected and removed, and you can come and work here illegally. So it's a high risk to get here, but once you're here, you can disappear into the black economy. And the way to stop that, and also to help reduce net migration overall, is for the government to... Um, to spend more on immigration control and, you know, have more enforcement and more removals. And that's what they haven't done so far. Matt Pollard, thank you. Matt is the executive producer at Migration Watch. Just coming up to six.